All right, morning and welcome to the DK64 Randomizer Season 2 Tournament Stream. Today we got Shady Miss versus Generic Dude in Losers Round 4. And uh, joining me today or tonight, depending on where you are, morning on commentary is the Australian man himself, Spike. Yeah, morning, morning. Excited to see a uh, hopefully an awesome match today between these two. This will be the um, first match to qualify for Losers Top 8. So uh, this will be an exciting uh, match to see. Yeah, and getting into that Top 8, I guess the Top 8 club, very prestigious. Um, means everything to these players in this tournament. So they're definitely going to be bringing it their all here. And... Um, before we begin here, um, please take a moment, especially if you're watching on YouTube or Avod or even on DK6 or Speedruns, make sure you drop a follow on our Twitch page, um, subscribe to our YouTube channel, also DK6 for Speedruns on both. Um, we have a lot more of this coming, several more weeks of um, several uh, tournament matches a week, so definitely exciting things to come here. So that being said, we are less than a minute away from getting started here, and um, both these players definitely very good players. They've been pl I've seen Shady Miss playing a lot, of course, but Jared Dude's also been putting in the work here. Um, several races every week, lots of just grinding out these tournament settings. It's really nice to see. Yeah, everyone's getting ready for the madness that's to come. But obviously only one of these two is going to be able to move on. So who is that going to be? But more importantly, what's chat wanting to actually see today in this seed? Is there any specific checks in mind? I always oh. see everyone talk about a bean seed, but we had one of those recently. What's I, I think they're still going to want the bean seed, you know. Yeah, I, I, I can't fault them for that. I, I guess that's completely fair. I, I personally want to see a mermaid. Hell Marina though, I do actually like that one. Alright, they're about to get started. And here we go. We're probably gonna be seeing the classic start here, straight into K Lumsey Island. Now, um, usually, like, there's several, um, bean, they're not bean, uh, beans on my mind. And there's several dirt patches that are just available to get, and those are randomized in the pool, so this is why you usually see players go in here right away. Uh, this also gives you a quick peek at the lanky check that's locked by a rank sprint in there, but, um, nothing on the dirt patch there. And it's a shame that they're starting with Lanky Chunky as well, because they're the two slowest for dirt patches. Ooh, they have a forest level too. Got a cactus sighting. Metal rewards. And that's probably P2. Oh, only one to get into level 4, or level 2. Felicia Aztec. Is it me or were all of those hinting to the same two things? Well, I guess we'll find out, won't we? You never know with DK64 Randomizer. And we got... Oh, oh well, that's an interesting one to get. Homing uh -oh. ammo. Usually when you see an early clear of Vile, it's usually one of the training moves, but not here. Yeah, that is very unusual. I wonder if that means we're going to be seeing any action in the cabins today. Yeah, not very many things hold uh, a, uh, I guess, homing ammo locks here, but we're going to see a shop that Tiny can purchase in Isles. We're having a little bit of trouble there. Okay. <laughs> Oh, and key four. Okay, key four right off the bat. Early key four. That's going to be in the main Isles location. Um, we're going to get another round of hints for uh, level five. And there's our first golden banana. Wow. Okay, that's a pretty late golden banana. That's not even... 
pretty sure one that you'd use for level one. It's interesting. Oh, there's a blue potion in the chunky cage. Interesting, interesting. Oh, that's a late tiny. Did you see that? <laughs> oh, I missed that. I'm, I'm trying to catch up on all these hints. Where's tiny? Um, that was um, Aztec Diddy. And did we just see here Aztec's level 5, so... Oh, and 32 GBs for Aztec as well. Oh, that is quite a late tiny. Owl Tree's Path to Key 7. Galleon's level 1. Oh, oh, this, is, off. this is already and it was free the seal. This is already shaping up to be a very spicy seed. Alrighty, this that though we have about um eight hits for Galleon at the moment. That's um that's very interesting. I think a few of them would be the same thing, but who knows? Maybe Chunky finds DK on the boss. We might find King 2 and the music is flat. We'll have to see where both of these two runners take us. Now, it's highly unlikely, like, obviously we are going to probably get DK here in the first fight, but it's highly unlikely we're going to be able to free the seal. That requires Coconut as well as Baboon Blast to even get to that check. Yeah, that is most likely going to be a little bit deeper. Right in when Galleon, there's not much they can really do, but they do have a hinted check that they can push. Otherwise, it's probably just going to be pushing on for some more levels. Now, something that you'll probably see early on in these, set, um, I guess, races here, especially on the earlier levels, you're going to see players go out of the way for coins a lot. Um, especially with Galleon's first level, there's not a lot of coin access when you don't have diving, so there's going to be a lot of pushes for getting those early coins. That's exactly what Shady's doing, making sure he gets all those chunky coins that are above the water. Um, something, so, here. something in the chat mentioned as well is like right now you cannot actually visit any of the boss doors. In these settings, the game logically expects you to be able to beat the boss before moving to the next level. Um, so it's very likely that you'll see vines are diving early on. Key two was found in the Kasplat in the outskirts. Yeah, and I feel like Shady here is going to be speed checking the shop and then immediately going and checking those hints. Because yeah, as you said, Galleon level 1 with no vines diving is pretty much just a shop hit. That's really all you can do here and hopefully maximize grabbing coins. And nothing yeah, on the shop. <laughs> All right, we have also a level or a one gold banana forest, but since we have key two, we're gonna be visiting level three. It's castle. Ah, okay, good, good. Diddy shops, or Diddy's in the castle shops. Rocket barrels, key eight. Gallon did top of White House. Japes dirt. And castle surroundings is tiny. Now we have two castle hints, both for tiny K rule here. Underground and surroundings, so that's gonna be a lot of castle to cover. Did you catch how much GBs it took to get into castle? No, I didn't. Uh, I'm trying to keep up with Shady. Shady is uh, writing, is going through these hints way too fast. I can barely keep up. We'll probably see this here on Generic Dude's stream in a second. Oh, the catch into the slime! Oh, no! No! 
Can we get some Fs for that, please? Oh, that cop just wanted to watch Chucky fall into the goo. That is rough. And we have five GBs for cops. All right, will the minecart have something for us today? Nope. I mean, you That's can still do that for the gold banana if you really wanted. Do it for same value. Champ. Oh. All right, now we have the infamous dirt patch. Well, it's been haunting DK players for years. Just a nana. Oh, I feel something like the, the current gold. Oh, yep, sorry. Yeah, there's some of note here is there's some uh, coins on top of these mushroom trees, and um, Shady did not have to get them. But there is, ooh, the DK Gorilla Grab check has a red potion. Ooh, that is interesting. And we know Mills is on the path to Key 5, so maybe that will contribute to something in the underground. Could be peanuts. Yeah, I feel both players right now are just wanting to push the GBs. You've got you've got some things you could do in forest, but castle is definitely where you want to go. So I feel like this is just going to be a GB push by both players to go and get Diddy. Yeah, and especially since we know Tiny's going to be really late, and we have no idea where DK is going to be yet. Like, just pushing into the castle so you can get another Kong is going to be a pay huge dividends, whoever gets there first. Yeah, 100%. No hey, GDs available not helping in that out shop. These two. <laughs> Oops, all DK Diddy tiny shops. That ain't doing nothing. No, and that's probably going to have to force both players to actually climb the mushroom, which is not really what you want, but you know, sometimes you got to go for the climb. That is the life of a random and with And with early forest, I mean, like... And it's and with I guess early castle as well. Like it almost feels, you're almost like obligated to make the climb because there's a bunch of sphere zero stuff at the top, and like just skipping those early could just ruin you later. Oh yeah. On the flip side, you know you already have rocket barrel. You know where Diddy is. So like this could have been one you may have thought about skipping, but neither player looks like are going to be doing that. No, unfortunately not. They're both still unable to. I feel like if they could get a fifth, maybe, but then you also run the risk of maybe DK actually purchases Diddy, and then suddenly you're leaving checks behind that could help you do that. So, off an early game, it's best just to be as thorough as you can. And uh, just so people are aware, if you see uh, them collecting medals and crowns in the Season 2 settings, those are effectively junk items. They won't actually get you anything there, so not really that great to see any of those things. Yeah, normally in uh, base DK, you need those items to essentially get to key 8 and hide out health. But in these particular settings, those gates that normally require really crowns and what you get from medals, those are just open. So all you need to do is have your instruments and stuff for the Blastomatic, and then just beeline the key gate. Assume Shady here is going to go check the arena. Otherwise, maybe we'll do a um, one blueprint dump, which is not what you want to access an early level. 
Um, you saw that, um, you're just able to jump down to the chunky arena. That is, you're logically able to do that. Um, the, the problem is if it's not nighttime, you have to like jump down to warp 5, then warp back up. And if you forgot to take warp 5, well, you're making the climb up again. That's the same with this battle arena here as well, which might be our 5th GB. And it nice. is. Oh, that is nice. Only 18 seconds. Alrighty, it looks like we'll probably be making our push to castle now. We get to figure out where all these tiny moves are. Alright, generic dude's going to go check the chunky splat while well, Shady already did that, just going straight into castle at this point. Ooh, that is a speedy cop. Hey, he, he fortunately got out of the way. Good, good. Getting caught by cops in this game is one of the most tilting things that can happen while you're simultaneously laughing over the entire exchange. For those that don't know, those cops were in the um, Stealthy Suit minigames and have now been put into the, um, the base rando shuffled anywhere and they'll kick you to the start of the level. They can also see through walls and see you when you're swimming. What kind of evil person would do that, put them in the game? Yeah, yeah, who would do that, Tudos? Gotta go. <laughs> right, Please well, add more. Anyways. Shady is going to be, looks like, there's kind of two ways to do castle. You almost do, there's basically dividing the, the top part of castle where you just climb up right away, and there's the bottom part of castle, which is basically the dungeon area and the crypt area. Shady is opting to just climb straight out. Um, not really sure what generic dude is going for yet, but he's going for these well-placed coins, so... Um, if, she, if generic dude does jump down into the moat, that means he is going to be doing the lower areas early. Which, which a higher chance of finding Diddy, because two shops in the underground, and then potentially rock and roll to the top. But we'll see if Diddy is in Cranky's shop. No, but it a is a potion. potion. That is a that expensive. Is expensive. <laughs> but Ooh, it's fine, fine apple. apple. That does unlock a lanky move. Meanwhile, we do have Diddy Kong on the side of generic dude. That will bode well for Generic Dude, because now Generic Dude just needs to rock a barrel to the top rather than climb all the way up. But Shady realized that and has now immediately gone down to the underground. Yeah, there's no reason for uh, Shady to climb up anymore with that one, because he knows he can do the same in a second here. Oh, it was a shared file. Yeah, a shared call. There's diving, found relatively early. Ooh, that's a good spot for that. That gives us a greater chance of being able to find DK, so that is exactly what both runners would be wanting to find. Now keep in mind, Castle Underground was hinted path toward Tiny K rule, so that does open up a lot of things on where Tiny stuff can be. It's ideally what you don't want to be on the path because of how much there is, so I wouldn't be surprised if both runners try to do some more checks if they are available, otherwise definitely want to push Galleon as quick as possible. Nothing seems to be in the other places in the dungeon that Shady checks, so he's probably just gonna sneak on out of there. Uh, 
Um, and they do have access. Now, this isn't logical access, but they do have access. They do decide to go to Diddy's Crypt via Pineapple Launcher. Doesn't look like Generic Dude is going to opt to do that, though. And diving on the other side for Shady. Uh, unfortunately, they cannot. I don't think they can logic break because you still need. Uh, to oh yeah, right. Generic dude does door. not have pineapple. Shady could do it. <laughs> Looks like he's just gonna run out though. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. They don't even have peanut, uh, pineapple, or pineapple. They don't have peanut. Oh, the dodge! That was a sick juke by generic. That was really close. Really that was close. not a oh! sick jump, and he's a, he's gonna take it right away and just pause exit out. But it's really faster I... to just take the death and death warp. I do respect the pause exit, though. I do respect that. Generic wants to keep this a deathless run, you know? Here's a slight advantage that Generic Dude gained on Shady here. He's gonna just be able to rock a barrel up to the top. Um, Shady's gonna do it too, but he had to. He went and climbed to Cranky, so slightly worse routing there. And there's a potion at the top. Now, surroundings was also hinted for well, Tiny Path to get rule, and this is a surroundings check. And I don't believe we found anything else off the surroundings, so this is easily our first uh, option to potentially lead to that. I still don't understand this mini game sometimes. <laughs> Barrel throw. Ooh. Both players about to get that. Oh, and there's the doink. I'm not sure, sure what, what generic dude is doing. There. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but, um, they're going to take war- Oh, this dude's in the way! Oh, oh generic no. doesn't have pineapple! Oh, no. <laughs> He's waiting for him to stop. There, there you go. So these dudes eventually do stop walking around, turning their flashlights off. That's the- what you have to wait for if you want to get past one. Yeah, that's a that's an S tier cop on patrol right there. A um, nice jump down from generic and go straight to Cranky here, and he's gonna be able to see that chunky potion in a second. Now, I don't believe the two can do any more surroundings checks. So, currently barrel throwing is our only lead candidate for the tiny K roll. Which, barrels is always a scary one to find, uh, to find, because that could just be referring to one of the many bosses in the game that require Oh, barrels. it's another one in the rooms! Generic dude is not gonna get it! No, I missed getting all the level 2 hits, so I'm not 100% sure it was all hinted there. Oh, that was a rank stand in Main Isle. I'm not sure which ones were all the level 2 hints, but most of them were pointing to Galleon. Yeah, I do remember that. 
Yeah, let, let me tell me tell you how many galleon hints there are have been on this scene. I have run out of space in my galleon notes. <laughs> um, that was Orange throwing in the ballroom. Not really gonna do that much, but I think Shady's gonna go check Lanky Greenhouse now. That actually might bode well, depending on how the rest of the scene plays out, because for those that don't know, you can actually use oranges as a substitute for Feather for Tiny Cable. So depending on Featherbow's location and requirements this scene, you could just completely bypass that with those oranges. Are we gonna see the uh, greenhouse skip? Nope. Uh, no, no, uh, no cam cut today, unfortunately. I'll be honest, I didn't realize other cults could slam those switches. Well, now we know. There's another thing we learned about this game. So the problem with doing Welcome this room first, stage. because um, there's two link rooms at the top, the problem with doing this room first is that you have to complete it, otherwise it doesn't let you out of this room, and generic slowly realizing that this is not correct. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> there is a potion yet. on the battle crown on Shady, or on Shady's side. Super Simeon Slam, that's a good pull. Yeah, 100%. It's always good getting a blue slam early on. So something to note down for later, Castle Surroundings. We found Super Simeon Slam and uh, Barrel Throw. Uh, we are going to see a trick that's out of logic, but some you're able to do. You can get the, 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 the uh, dirt patch here by just lifting the barrel up and bringing it over. It's guitar! That is a really, really good pull. And because of that being out of logic, you need a lot of items for that. One of which being barrel throwing, by the way. You need barrels, trombone, and rocket. Speaking of barrel throwing, we're about oh, to potentially get another family. Another potion. Oh, it's just ammo belt. Like, yeah, bean levers can celebrate. I mean, I guess they really haven't gotten it, so maybe not, but so we at least know where it is. That is what we need to. Wow, get. that is that is a DK64 LOL hitbox. We got Japes level four. I have no idea how sh Shady reads these so quick. I did get all of those, um, and I am running even more out of Galleon notes. I was uh, underground to K7, Galleon medals to Tiny K Wall, and um, those were the two big ones. Main Isles, K4, we already found K4. So Galleon has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 hinted locations. That's a lot. All right, uh, the generic dude is also going to go all logic for that guitar. All right, so we now have the galleon pushed by Shady, finding one of our many hinted items there, but assumably trying to find uh, DK, who might be on the boss, is uh, where I would hazard a guess. Yeah, I think both players are going to be just going straight there. Oh, 
We're about to see a cool out of logic skip. This requires coconut, what Shady's about to do. But if you get the right water height... Once we get the right water height, there we go. You can kind of just jump on up there and just grab these two checks and small bananas early. Doesn't help Shady improve his his uh, accuracy at shooting these balloons, though. Mini monkey. Right. That is in fact a path to K rule. So that's interesting because that is also coconut gun locked and diving locked. Diving was found in the underground, so. Those hints have actually kind of been fulfilled, which is a bit scary. Because we still need to think about Featherbow. Alright, are we seeing an early hype chest push? I think that's what we might be seeing. Maybe after some detours. Looks like Shady's just going to do some surroundings checks for some quick GBs on the way to the boss. I don't know if we've heard a ding yet, but this is level 1, so I would be surprised if we don't have the requirements for the boss. I think there was a ding on their initial time here, so I'm confident that they were able to uh, get all the bananas right now. Nothing too special in the two-door ship. Oh yeah, 20 small bananas. Yeah, I feel like they have enough. Do we find the Chunk Meister? Sorry, not the Chunk Meister, the DK Meister himself. And there is Donk. <laughs> Thank goodness they started out with a instrument. Alrighty, now we get to see how good both these two players' pop tosses are. I can't believe Generic could roll the vanilla, the vanilla track for this. So now oh, the wow, stars yeah. spawn in set spots every time. There is a setting in DK6 for randomizer where you can make it not do that. But um, you just need to memorize these spots and you can have a really clean playthrough. The location of some of the vanilla stars are quite cheap if you don't expect, because some of them spawn right in the same location. So if you go through the star and just keep going around a little bit, you won't notice it spawn right there. So it's very, very cheap. Yeah, 
Yeah, especially these this last phase here, they're small. But um doesn't look like generic dude has this memorized. No, if you were looking at generics before, you would have seen the star appear right behind, but must not have seen that. Oh, it does know that final star. At least something part of that, yeah, I don't think Shady Aiden Mist knows it either, it looks like, but um, there's a lot of sweet turnarounds you can do to get the stars very quickly. There's Donk. Oh, yeah, Shady's showing off a cool strategy you can do to make the end of this a little quicker as well, is if you start moving towards Puff Toss at the end, you can... If you do it right, land directly on top of the item. Or right next to it. So honestly, considering that we are about about 30, 40 minutes in, it's very even from both players. They've, for the most part, been doing the same things back to back, which is uh, very interesting to see. Hasn't really been any deviation aside from um, Shady finding oranges. Alright, so in this particular um, five door ship, as well as Lanky's, you can peek Chunky's room and Diddy's room and Lanky's room because they're all connected down here. Didn't look like there was anything too exciting in either of these, so we're just gonna see a swim right on out. Yeah, until we find Coconut Gun or some more instruments, there's not too much else that these two players can do. However, we are going to be seeing an Outer Logic Hype Chest. Hey, I take that back. We have found Bongos. Bongo Blast. Kind of hard to see Hype Chest when you know I'm tiny. <laughs> You know, I shouldn't realize that one, eh? <laughs> but regardless, we're still going to see a glimpse of an autologic uh, treasure room here with these gold towers being... can do some tricky shenanigans getting up the tower here. Oh, I think that's a potion. Yeah, it is. Oh, it is. That's pretty hype. Everyone should be hyped for Big Bug Bash. Especially the hard Wait, one. Although we call up a hard one, the generic dude didn't seem to struggle with that at all. Had one fly get away, so that was a really good attempt at one of the most notorious games in DK64. It's Grape! And there's Ooh, another potion in here! Oh man, is generic gonna miss that? It looks like we might be seeing the Diddy medal here. Oh, no, not necessarily. There we go. Now he's oh, got Bongo. Go.
Galleon absolutely loaded, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be Engineering's best interest to turn right around and get that, uh... Oh yeah, he's definitely gonna want Diddy or DK's five door cabin here. Yeah, you better turn around and go get it. That's coconut shooter over there. And we had medals hinted to Tiny K rule. Now that's actually a little concerning for both players, because that is three hints that have pushed towards Mini Monkey. Yeah. That's actually very concerning. For those that don't know, in these settings, um, you are guaranteed five hints that tell you what you need to know for your K rule phases. And uh, usually what you want is to, to be pointing to a bunch of different items, different com phases. So far, most of our hints are pointing to the exact same thing, which is not quite what you want. Yeah, it's gonna could lead to some tricky situations later where like everything is um that's gonna be a blueprint there. Where everything all the hints pigeonhole toward one or two items and you're left wondering where everything else is. Not really a good way for a seed to play out, but sometimes that Oh and generic is gonna leave without pineapple. Oh man, this is not gonna be looking good, but he is gonna go check out Japes at least. I can't remember if a Japes hidden pointed to DK five door ship or not, but um, we'll find out here in a second. I don't believe we had any five uh, door ship hints, but we did have hints to those bongos. Now, if I didn't misread my hints, I believe we actually have two of that exact same hint. Which, for those that don't know specifically in DK64 Randomizer, if you get the exact same hint twice, it's actually pointing to two completely different items. And so we found bongos that led us to coconut that led to mini monkey. So that means that, that there's another metal hint that might lead to featherbone. Alright, well... I think we're going to see him go right back into Galleon because there's not really much else he can do right now. Um, fortunately for him, Seamus hasn't really done anything else here, but I think both players are going to be getting pushed that direction anyway, so... Yeah, Japes is a very expensive level 4 anyway, so going there is... Uh going to potentially take that little bit extra. And neither players have found vines, either. So, that was hinted as a, um, something. I think that was a way of the horde. I think that's likely trombone. Yeah, not sure what else that could be referring to at the moment, but we'll see what it is. It's a rank sprint. That is a way of the horde. And we there. do have our tree hinted to K seven. Very fascinating. We might oh, be seeing a rapture race Oh baby. <laughs> Generic dude about to go pick up coconut gum here and hopefully also push towards that sprint. So, yeah, so here's the problem now. Shady Miss never got grape. Granted, it was out... No, it wasn't out of logic for him. No, no, it still was because no simian string. But um, no grape means he is not going to be able to get the rabbit race check at this point. Well, neither players have trombone either, so... Currently not in the scope of either players, but Generic Dude might end up actually gaining that little bit of extra knowledge over Shady. And I think Generic Dude is going to rush straight toward the other side of the uh, Galleon area here with the Lighthouse, and I'm pretty sure we're going to see something in regards to him eventually getting top of Lighthouse, which will be uh, Oring Sprint. What 
we're gonna have Artadon with us. That's yeah, a we quick still need one. to figure out. It's a quick one, so I think he, he looks like he's just gonna get it anyway. Yeah, I think something that's playing on Shady's mind right now is the fact that Mills is on the path to key 5. We currently do not have uh, much knowledge on key 5 or even items that it could be. Which is a little scary, considering that will unlocks another 10 hints for both players. Remember, we did see a potion there for Diddy. So that is something they'll have to consider. I mean, it's locked behind Gorilla Grab, but it is there. And we're only missing Peanut Peanuts and Spring. So if we find Spring, could be pointing to Grape. If we find Peanuts, could be pointing to Diddy Crypt. But we have to figure out where this Gorilla Grab is before we even think about that. And fun fact for those that don't know, you do not need Peanut for this. <laughs> the bat saying hi during the cutscene. Beautiful. Oh, this Banj Kazooie song must have been added recently. Gobi Valley must have been a recent add, unless I just have been unlucky and never heard it yet. It was added when I woke up this morning, so uh um, Oh that's why that's why I don't recognize it yet. I was a bit surprised that uh, they had um, the, um, I forget the name of it, but the variant that was in now rather than the original first. I was a little surprised. I was a little concerned there because I thought he, uh, Generico was going to skip out on the lighthouse. Looks like he's just taking a little bit longer way out. Yeah, well, with 19 golden bananas being required for level 4, going out of the way is um, probably not a bad idea for either player, depending on what they're doing. The fact that Shady is opting to do the winch check for a GB for level 4 is uh, a good sign of uh, how GBs are going this season. Oh no, he never got top of Lighthouse! That's a literal direct hint! Oh no. That could be devastating later if he doesn't remember that. Right. So I wonder where Generic's going then, because that is directly hinted. Well, he's gonna get ammo belt one here, so at least he's gonna have a little bit uh, more help with ammo management. Yes, we've definitely seen that from a lot of runners lately. Uh, totally not me. Totally not. Uh, everyone running out of ammo. Sounds like generic dude just had japes in mind, so he's just pushing gold bananas to get there. Which, James, you have one directly hinted, um, easy to get to location. That being said, not player has found vines yet. And vines is one of the things that you do need to get into Helm. So I wonder if both players are just going to be pushing forward to get hints, or if it's just not on their mind that they haven't found it yet. All right, after the golden banana dump, is it enough? It is exactly enough. Yeah, you better get that bean. Bean levers, can we get... Where, where are my bean levers in the chat? That's the important question. Oh, there's a potion on this, trough and scoff. Oh, it's yellow. Oh, is this Gorilla Grab? I feel like this is going to be Gorilla Grab.
Oh, this might be a really big pull here from Shady. Yeah, I I have a sinking suspicion that that Mills check is going to just be Simeon Spring, which isn't going to be very helpful. I feel like it's going to be Chimpy Charge. Well, we already started with Chimpy Charge, so that can't be the case. Oh, sorry. Pe peanuts to use Chimpy Charge in the crypt. My bad. All right, we're gonna get our first look at Japes here. This has been hinted so far. Oh no! Goodbye, Chunky. Oh, there's a potion in the tiny cage. Port. It's Baboon Blast. So not what we thought. We do need Blast, though, because the Seal Race. That is true. So I think we're going to be seeing... Oh, this is good for Shady, because now we're going to see him head back to Gallon, likely. That could push him to Diddy Gold Tower. Oh, it's key! It's a key five! It's key seven. Ooh, okay. Castle Underground, key seven, Al Train, key seven. Wait a second. Hold on. Does Rapid Race have vines? No. Oh, uh, you mean does Rapid Race have vines? I think then, yeah, I think that's gonna be the case here. That's kind of a yeah. messed up place for that if you think about it. That really is. Who made the seed tonight? Yeah, that's right, Sarah. You made this one. Oh, there's another potion. Two clear potions in Hillside. This is big. If, if Shady does Treasure Room, I think he's going to be squarely ahead at this point. Oh my god, the colorful coin hidden for 17 years! It's Gorilla Grab. Unfortunately, I feel like that coin might be hidden for a few more years. 
<laughs> okay, so that's a really good pull there. So this might push... This might push Shady just back into Forest, which gets him Simeon Spring, which would push him back into Galleon. So even though it's a kind of a long, treacherous path, it's still a path. Shady has a way, but it looks like he might go straight to... He might do Galleon Treasure Room anyway. That's really good for Shady if he does. Oh, he's going the other way. Oh, he's... Th I know what he's... He's thinking Mechfish. Mechfish agenda is live. Wait, was there something? Oh, he wants that. And peanut pop oh, guns. Peanut. Ah, okay, you were right. Spring is over there. Sadly, no mech fish agenda today, chat. So that's actually really good for generic dude then at this point because all of that path that uh, Shady is following right now is just so that you can get Grape. Yeah. But, um, Generic doesn't have that much time because, like, the longer he puts off that lighthouse, like, the worse this could end up being. But Generic is still gonna be a little bit ahead here until Shady can get everything squared away. Yeah, exactly. It also depends on the location of Trombone, because if we are right about Vine's location, that also means Trombone is first three levels. And if Generic is pushing level four and potentially level five, depending on, um, um, GB count, might be a little bit further away from Vine's. Uh, we don't know exactly where Vine's is, Riley, but it seems likely that it's on Rabbit Race. Yeah, we know our tree is on the path to Key 7, and we found Key 7 in the chunky underground area of Japes. Pineapple oh, was just please a don't run out of ammo. Okay. Simeon Spring all waiting to be grabbed by just turning into night. Yep, I had a feeling that was just gonna be nothing. But hey! Yeah. Can put on put on some shows? Can play good okay, guitar uh, 15 times instead of 5. Top of Lighthouse? Um, that is going to be Orang Sprint, which will push you to Rabbit Race. The problem is Generic Dude skipped it, and Shady is taking the intended path to it, which is, as we can see, is quite the long ways to do, so... Yeah, we currently have no leads on Trombone at all, which is a little scary, because that is what's going to unlock the Rabbit Race. Generic Dude's going back in because you can also uh, do a check here in the Caves and Mines area. Which it's not often nowadays you see this check actually in Logic, because as we just saw Generic Dude do, if you have a um, tag anywhere with Chunky, you can just grab the rails and just go straight up. However, we're not going to see it for a Junk item today, unfortunately. The seat yeah. doesn't want minecarts, I'm very sad. See you later.
Smart play here to come back and visit the front cave. Nothing in the front cave. Looks like we're gonna just see a blueprint dump here, or I guess a banana dump, so to say. Although that is definitely something that'd be on generic dude's mind, because we still cannot enter level five. We still need over 30 GBs to find tiny. <laughs> Oh, we just got a pearl on uh, Shady's end. I want this mermaid agenda. I'm pushing the mermaid agenda. Surely there's something on the mermaid today. It's a rough thing to have for mermaid when Tiny is so far, uh, so deep into the seed. Mm. Shady is going to be doing some checks that Generic already did earlier. Meanwhile, Shady is going to round out Japes with um, checking two spots up here, and then that'll be it. Crown's not going to be very Watch helpful if you want bananas. Oh, neither of those are very helpful. You have 28? What do you do here? Well, we're going back into forest, but like... We're going to have access to that owl area, and I think... this. Well, this is correct, right? But like, you only have two checks here. You have owl, you have the owl race, and you have the, um, display. And it would be really, really good for generic if one of those two things had something. Um, he is going to go to the mills, though, but this is unfortunate because this is going to be for something that he already has. Or that is already on a path or something that, um, isn't going to get him anywhere. Because he already skipped around it, but, um... Obviously, he should know that this is Simeon Spring because he has all the other Diddy moves. Going through a generic dude's mind right now. Wonder what wonder what their current play is for moving forward in this scene. Because obviously going to Ice Deck is a play, but when you know that there's a lot that's been left behind, I wonder what's going through your mind. Do you push the keys for hits or do you push the earlier levels to find everything? Well, we're gonna see the um, owl tree area play here that we were talking about. Meanwhile, back into Galleon, Shady goes. Now, again, we need Shady to check Gold Tower. Even if it's out of logic... Well, it's out of logic for him. It's out of logic for Generic, dude. But, um, he's gotta get Diddy Gold Tower at this point. Meanwhile, Generic, dude, is praying that one of these two checks actually has your progression. Not that one. It is a golden banana, so that, that's a little bit of a consolation. All right, Shady is in fact going to check the gold tower. It's gonna be getting grape here in a second. He's immediately going to rush into forest to do the owl tree area. And owl tree's dead, so 
pretty confident at this point that the rabbit race does in fact have something. Oh, it's another pearl! Come on, mermaid. We can do this. Surely we get, like, gone off the mermaid or something. Now, I don't think there's too many checks left early game. Like, there's, I don't think there's too many, so I wonder where this trombone is hiding. Yeah, and these are kind of, and I think there was a chat made earlier, or a comment in chat made earlier, but like, these levels, these first three levels, Galleon Forest Castle, are kind of crappy to have as your first levels. Um, even though we made it slightly easier by making it, like, your switch, your slam level, or the switch level in each level slot matches what it is in the vanilla game. So, for instance, Galleon, Forest, and Castle, they're in the first level slots, so they would get assigned the slam one switches. Um, there's still a decent amount of stuff you need for each each one because of course in the vanilla game it assumes that you have access to all those other um, upgrades already so um, you tend to kind of get pigeonholed when you have a bunch of those levels early oh yeah 100 percent and the thing with a lot of these levels as well is there is a decent chunk of checks but they're all locked behind specific items so like owl tree with great most of galleon with diving coconut or lighthouse so you finding that one specific item just opens up a lot of checks. Meanwhile, um, Shady just got Grape. So I wonder if he just goes back to Forest here. There's only really any case. He's going to Castle, actually. Castle with DK here. Now this is interesting. We're gonna be able to do a lot of things here. Yeah, Castle with DK will be good, but I wonder if Shady was pushing for the Great or not, because I'm not sure what else you would be pushing in the underground. Um, or in any of these areas. Generic dude is at 30 gold manas. Meanwhile, Shady only has 15. So even though um, Shady is maybe has like a move or two more, like that's a big gold banana disadvantage that he has at the moment. Yeah, having 30 at the one hour mark is a good point to be for a decent time in the sea. So got a good count for generic dude. But that being said, both the two are missing some very crucial moves, so it might not matter depending on where those moves are. Yeah, and we're obviously going to see Generic Dude get in. Generic is thinking, I need gold bananas, I need to get into level 5. So, he's close, he's just gotta do it. He's at 31. What's he thinking now? Yeah, he's just gonna leave. Yeah, probably just gonna dump the chunk. Oh, oh, and there's Primate fine. Punch on Underground! Ooh, that is a really good pull. Wow. <laughs> Meanwhile, Generic is just not pulling Golden Bananas where they need to be pulled here. the question whereabouts in here are we going to be finding tiny well obviously you don't have access to five door temple but it could be on so it's just basically any daily thing you do have rocket barrels so you can access the kasplat um just could be in the cage area at the beginning um, so the note here that vines are logically required to get into Aztec and furthermore um, you need to require vines before you're able to enter level four. So vines are clearly somewhere. 
Um, Aztec is also able to be accessed with Ponytail Twirl, but they don't have that either. So, at the back of Generic's mind, he's thinking that Vines and or Ponytail Twirl was able to be accessed already. And Vines is also a requirement for Hideout, though. It's one of those moves that you, uh, in these settings, cannot skip. So either way, Generic Dude is going to need to come back to find Vines. But we still have a bunch of hints that are currently um, unable to be checked yet. We need to find where Key 5 is. And once we find that, maybe we'll find some guidance as to the location of um, all of our missing moves. starting to push for GBs more. 19 to get to Japes, so I wonder if that's what uh, he's going to be doing, is pushing Japes. <laughs> Meanwhile, um, you can... Or, uh, Generic Dude does have access to every single Diddy check in Aztec, so... <laughs> Um, I don't think he's super concerned at the moment on where Tiny is. It's just be a matter of time before he gets him. first peak of the boss. Yeah, it's just a golden banana anyways, unfortunately. Unfortunate. Unfortunately, a rank sprint can't climb that, so it's too bad. You're not gonna be able to get that rainbow coin. Ooh, are we gonna see a vanilla tiny here? That would certainly be something. Oh, and there's something in the primate punch, a crypt chunky chest. Or I guess coffin. <laughs> oh, and I believe underground is on the path to key seven. Now we did find diving that led us to things, but this could be trombone. The good thing for Generic is if he ends up needing to keep following the underground path, it's good. he's going to be able to get this for free basically later, so... Or oh, never mind. We have one of the other musical upgrades instead. Now both can jam some tunes for us while we watch this amazing random. Very sad moment there. Generic Dude does not have Super Simeon Slam, which was found early. Um, by, uh, Shady Mist. <laughs> kind of a failed moment at the same time, because at that same time, where, uh, Generic Dude thought, thought he had, uh, slammed two, Shady Mist just got an instrument upgrade, so... Very sad moment on both screens. I didn't even notice that Generic Dude did it to Greenhouse. Interesting. Well, hopefully it's not needed for uh, finding Tiny here. I don't think any Diddy checks here really use a slam, so hopefully there are no issues here. Otherwise, Shady might be able to um, get a bit of a lead with that. Yeah, there's not really slam. Oh, but there's a Diddy potion here. What do we got? 
Oh, boom. Okay, well, that's not really anything. Oh, we're back and in the now, forest. Are we going to see the sprint check? Are we going to see the rabbit race? Oh, we're still missing Trump Bud. There's, yeah, we're hour 13 in. We're still missing a lot of pieces to this puzzle. Yeah, this is very scary because there's not, aside from a couple of items that generic dude has found over Shady in later levels, there's not been a big difference between uh, the items the two players have found. It's really just punch and peanuts. So none of the two have found any of the important items. Generic does have that golden banana advantage, though, and, like, the quicker, like, he's at, like, a 20, or a plus 20 golden banana advantage right now, so, like, he's been pulling away pretty steadily from getting into Japes and Nasek earlier. Oh, yeah, 100%. I feel, I, I, I respect what Generic Dude is doing, like, as well as pushing the cons. I believe would also be wanting to hopefully push the keys, which I respect that play. Hints in this game are so good if you know how to follow them. And having hints missing really does make it very difficult finding anything that you need. So hopefully what... Um, oh no! Hopefully... He didn't do Ravarus either! He doesn't have trombone! We're still missing trombone, so no rabbit race, but... Shady did ha was basically obligated to check those other two hints. Oh, you're not getting on top of the tower like that. <laughs> you cannot jump up from the tower from there. You got a rocket barrel. It's a shame. Fortunately, the rocket barrel is just there, and you can peek it. I believe. I don't know if you need sniper though. Well, he's gonna go ahead and fly to it anyway. Oh, it's gonna be in Five Door Temple! With that immediate turnaround after seeing it was a blueprint. Alright, and, and we now have Shady pushing Jakes, which is good. Ooh, taking a photo of the balloon. Okay, okay, Shady. Respecting the uh, design of, of uh, DK's face on those balloons. I appreciate the artistic impression there. That's a, I don't know, that, that's a big brain play, I think, here. I, I, that might get him something that we don't know about. I, I like Etiquette's suggestion. We should get 20 bananas if we snap a picture of the balloon. Now, coming into Five Door Temple, this is the only remaining Diddy check, so unless it's on the boss, Tiny has to be in here. Meanwhile, Key 7 in the sights of Shady. So now Shady might have that info if Shady looks at the path to Key 7. So Shady might now know that he's looking for trombone. Uh-oh. I hear a jerk. Oh, there he goes. There's Tiny. Five door temple locked. So that is all Colton's at an hour 17 minutes. That is, um... That took a while to find. That was a very late time. We can't really see what exactly we need for to complete the game though, because they still haven't found the helm hint. They still haven't found anyone else besides, uh, what? We have tiny K rule. Do we have any other K rules? Um, no, we have found, I believe, three tiny K roll hints, and that's it. That being said, we have found a bunch of moves for some of our other comps, so I don't imagine Helm being too big of an issue unless we get a chunky hit. 
So key five is gonna be the big difference maker here. Um, we have been hinted forest, mills, and castle underground for key five. So there's got to be a point where I think Generic Dude is going to go back into Castle Underground to possibly find something else. Of course, that would get him to some of the other things that um, Shady got earlier, which I believe was Primate Punch, and actually I think that was it. So Primate yeah, Punch, of course, is a big is one. Now, the other problem we have is we did also find diving in the underground. So, ideally, you're hoping that um, it has nothing to do with that, because otherwise, diving got you uh, grab, which got you spring, uh, Simeon Spring. So, no. there is potential for concern there. If, if, I was, if I was in Jarek's shoes right now, I'm all about hype chest. For the stream value, of course. Oh, hype chest would be an absolutely brilliant play. Oh, getting knocked into the, the lava water. And because of the location of the because of the location of the grapes. Yes. Wow, I'm surprised it's, that was hmm. Interesting. Well, peanuts are gonna be pulled out of the side of Shady Mist. See here, he, oh, he, he he listened. He's going to high chest. Let's go. I was surprised he skipped some of the grape block stuff because grape was at the end of that big long path that was hinted earlier, but I guess we're gonna go see Hype Chest question mark. And maybe we're gonna go ahead and see um, some other, th maybe we're gonna actually see the top of Gallon White House for generic dude. Yeah, hopefully we do see that, because that is very important find. While we're here as well, shout outs to all the custom music creators that have been working on all these wonderful tracks you might be hearing, uh, depending on um, uh, whose audio do you actually have open now? Is it Generic Dudes? I, I have Generic Dudes open. We have free dual blasting yeah. on the stream right now. Yeah, some absolutely amazing tracks, and we always get pretty much every day or every other day we get a couple of tracks added. And if you want to listen to them, you can hear them being put inside the Discord server, which you can see at dk64randomizer.com. Generic dude, I think, is a little confused on what he wants to do, but, um... Not really sure where he's going. Oh, is he doing Top of Lighthouse finally? Oh my god, he's finally doing it. Yes, he remembered! Oh, and he's he's probably not feeling good about this, I can tell you that. <laughs> oh, we gonna say the skip? Now this skip is a little bit trickier than the one in the cannon game room, so we'll see if he gets it in a reasonable manner. It looks like he's just gonna say, heck it, I'm just gonna hit the switch. Remember, Baboon Blast is on the on a boss fight, so he can't do that right now. But does have a Rang Sprint, which doesn't do anything for him right now. It could push him to Underground again. But I, I just want to see Hype Chest. Go to Hype Chest. Yes! Hype Chest? Alright, we're gonna see the no, Hype what Chest. Is this? No, where are you going? Oh. Where are you going? That's not Hype Chest. What is this? <laughs> where, where are you going? He wants some bananas, but... Ah, uh, yeah, it's going for the banana metal. So I think he knows that there's nothing on this bonus barrel right now, but... 
Got two banana bunches in here for Tiny, so this is basically good enough for him. Wants that metal very badly. Yeah, and we have two metal to Tiny K. Roll hints here, so there's a chance that a second metal will potentially be pointing towards Feather. Now, that's not actually probably going to be on Shady's mind, as Shady has actually found oranges. Generic, on the other hand, will be still wanting to find that Feather Bow. Oh, we're going to see the tree! And hype chest right now. Oh, this is gonna this is gonna be an interesting minute here, folks. Alright, come on, hype chest. We want something good here. Come on. Will hype chest deliver? There's nothing in the first one except the GB. Another GB. Generic dude is scarily close to 60 GBs, considering some of the things we're missing. Alright, it looks like not much in here. Oh, oh there's a potion in the tree! There's a potion that and it requires sniper, I think. Actually, I don't know. I barely have her do this check. <laughs> yeah, this is this is a this will be very scary for generic if this check is something important. Because generic has basically nothing required to get this. You need glass, you need punch. Now, I think punch is going to happen here because that's... I feel like underground is going to be the next place he goes, but coming back after getting Baboon Blast is going to be really hard to do, I think. Oh, 100%. And that's assuming that you even go and check the bosses, because currently we don't have any hints This is third that. melon. Oh, that's... Well... We don't know if this is going to be required, but that's probably not going to be something that's required or necessary. Ponytail twirl. Oh, this sucks. Shady, or er, generic dude is doing crypt before dungeon, where you have to go to dungeon to actually get what you need. Now, this has potential of being K5, because this is a great block check. This is also Trombone and Vines, but if you can skip that with a uh, light number of ways, actually. Well, unfortunately, it was just a blueprint, so nothing there. Where do you reckon K5 is, Dudos? Uh, it's in the game of DK64 randomizer.com. The place where that's the place where these two players went to make the seed they're playing today. DK64 DK64 randomizer.com. Visit today. Generic left, but he could have done Diddy side. So I'm not sure why he did that. Yeah, I'm actually very surprised, because that's where I think K5 might be. Yeah, if that ends up being where key five is, that it's a really rough decision for generic to leave there. Really rough. Oh yeah. But right now it's really hard to say because neither players have found it. Alright, well, generic is gonna get oranges. Generic might also be going to check in the tiny car race here. Oh yeah! Yeah, generic does have access to that, unlike Shady. <laughs> we 
we have another oh, clear potion. Is this super duper? Oh, it is super oh. duper! Welcome to bonus day. Both slams were in castle, and generic still doesn't have either of them somehow. If Generic leaves Castle without either Slam or Primate Punch, that... I don't even know what I'm gonna say about that one. Yeah, that, that'd be a little bit rough. Meanwhile, um, uh, Shady is almost got the GD count to go to Aztec. Yeah, the longer the seed goes on without Generic Dude having the proper items... Like, the worst this is gonna be for him, because Shady, like, the Shady is trending closer to, like, getting ahead once he gets access to Japes, without turning in his blueprints. Oh yeah, 100%. But both the two lacking vines does make this a very interesting watch either way. Because, is someone gonna stumble upon Trombone, or is someone gonna find Key 5 sooner rather than later, and then find... Uh, more hits leading towards these locations. Alright, what is in the car race? It's a potion! Oh, oh my god, this is insane! What can this even be? If this is something good, would Shady even come back here? If this is trombone, my mind is blown. <laughs> Uh, I, don't, I don't think this can be trombone. What would this be? Oh. Uh, Could be a chunky check. Could be just like something dumb, like a melon. But yeah, it's not. Str I don't think it's strong. Oh, we got to do it over. That is that a twelve? That's a twelve coiner. Haven't seen that one ever. Rose Monkey Port, it was in Jape's Lowlands in the boulder. Gotta cut corners here if you wanna beat the car. There you go. Don't run into the box now. Don't run into the box! Oh he got it! Oh, oh that wow. was that was edge of my seat butt clenching moment right there. My god. <laughs> That was a picture-perfect finish. It's a third melon! <laughs> Are you serious oh, right no. now? There's a potion! It's there in his trombone! It's right there! Yes. Third melon's on Drunky oh, Chunky! Oh, that breaks the seat what? open. Oh no! Does Shady realize, though? Does Shady realize the implications of this? Shady well, Shady, Shady's in the right place to make that happen. Yeah, Shady's going there. Shady's going straight to the rabbit race. Now, to note, that trombone was punch-locked, which is in on the DK face puzzle. Now, Generic is in Castle now, so... Will Generic go do that? Remember, Underground has been hinted. And the only thing- the and, um, Generic Dude did get diving from that. But, like, he needs to go do- he needs to check all his Underground checks. Alright, well... Generic dude is going to get his sec his slam two here, assuming he actually does the battle crown. Looks like that's going to be the case. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. It's really tough. A uh, rough skip and a slam. So hopefully this doesn't cost any time at all. But we need to get this punch. This punch is breaking the seed open.
Oh my gosh. We're oh. lost in the maze. Okay, there we go. Now I'm afraid oh, no. that generic dude is just. Oh no! Shady lost! Oh, oh Shady wouldn't be feeling too great about that. <laughs> These are slow moving enemies in the battle arena. <laughs> All right, Super Simian Slam on the side of Generic Dude. We don't know if we need it 100% yet, but very helpful in case. Now, Generic, if you want to keep this race, you gotta go into Underground Area with the dungeon so you can get DK's Face Puzzle. That's the only way you stay alive here. Let's see if you do it. Well, we're gonna get a super duper simian slam. He's gonna see a clear potion here, and there is yeah. likely vines at one hour, 34 minutes in. My wow. goodness. Now that, even if you followed logic, that is a deep vine. You needed so much stuff for that vine. All right, Generic Dude is not pausexing, meaning he is staying here. So are we finally going to see a dungeon push for him? Looks like that uh, Generic Dude has been relatively thorough, which is good. And the thing is, because Generic Dude still needs these few items, probably going to find a few golden bananas on the way. So it's actually going to be pretty close to 60. Which would, in theory, mean if we can figure out where our remaining members are, we could just push straight to those. So this GB lead might still help Generic Dude out. Alright, I think we're going to be getting it here. I'll be right back. Um, something's telling me I need to get something out of my fridge. This is a lot of chunky pieces on this puzzle's not a good thing. That would take the longest to rotate back to DK. And punch. I assume that generic dude here is going to be going through the rest of the underground checks, but what's yeah. going to happen after that? I guess also another problem with generic dude, he might turn around and go back into the, uh... He might turn around and do the, uh, what is it? The, uh, I guess not the ballroom. No, it is the ballroom. No, it's not. The, the check was super duper. He might go back and just do that. Museum, yes, correct. Oh, yeah. All right, Jared Dude is not doing Castle Underground. Oh, he's going back to Galleon. This is looking good. Oh, okay, okay. It's very good for generic dude here if he goes into the punch locked ship seasick area. Like, I guess for me, I get the feeling that generic dude knows that's not vines there. Yeah, Generic Dude's been on the Vines case for a while, so it's probably very certain, uh, looking for Trombone. 
Yeah, he's gonna go for all these punch lock checks here. If this is short, he might end up doing this. Nope! That is the max roll. He didn't do- oh, he didn't do any of the punch checks! Why did Generic Dude go in just for the Battle of Reyna? Oh! Uh, did Shady go back for this? I don't know if sh well, that's just strong Kong. I don't think Shady okay. ever went back for that, but doesn't have Tiny yet, so that's why. <laughs> oh, he still doesn't have Tiny. I like how we've been waiting for that to be solved for all this time. <laughs> Oh, that's bad. He is not going into Galleon, which means... The hunt continues. I wonder what Generic Dude is doing then. I don't know if Generic Dude is following anything specific, because Punch, logically, I don't think really unlocks anything. Uh, you have kegs in here. That's about it. We don't have triangle, though. Yeah, you don't have triangles. So I don't know why he went in. Well, he's going to find out shortly that you can't do it. You can do Spider Boss, that is true. Yeah, Spider Boss is logically locked by Feather, but I believe did Gener Generic Dude went and got Feather. I'm uh, sorry, not Feather, Oranges, yeah? Uh, Generic, like Generic Dude, dude did, did. Yeah, he did get Oranges, I didn't mark it. And I don't think he marked it either. Yeah, he didn't mark it. So Feather is not a big deal at the moment, unless it turns out Feather locks something else. Yeah, I really don't get this play here. Like, he had many, he had two other punch checks he could have done in Galleon, and he just opted to do Spider Boss for some reason. This, th to me, this feels like an I'm behind kind of play, and he, I know, um, Forest Mills was hinted, but, like, this just doesn't feel like the right play. Yeah, unless if this is somehow key five, which I don't feel is the case, could If be, this is so. key five, though, then we deserve all the ridicule us as commentators are doing after we see it here, oh, so. Oh, exactly. Oh, oh my no god, is way. that? It's it's actually K5? Okay, two dice, nice. we've got to retire. Sorry, sorry, we, we've screwed up. We've, we, we've lost it. We're gone. Oh my god. So where's Featherbone? Yeah, that's all I'm thinking of at this point. <laughs> Okay, well, never mind. We, we clearly don't know what we're doing. Generic Dude, on the other hand, has now gotten 10 more hints. And will we see a Drunky Chunky hint? Is the real question. Yeah, that was huge. He's just gonna go straight there. Level 7. Aaron Forest Mills Dude, was path the key five, so yeah, it was. He zagged when we were zigging. Now we got two hits for. Oh, never mind. I'll just go for the hits. So that lighthouse to key seven hit actually technically was, but that was also pointing towards the sprint that we already got there. So that's not helpful. That's not helpful either.
Meanwhile, right in the chat's like, just rush, but like, we're trying to solve the seed, we're commentating. Yeah, it's it's fun knowing the logic anyways, even if you just skip half of it. So, so what, while we will, are making our way to the last five hits, we got two hits for uh, Galleon Medals to Tiny K. Rule. I believe the only thing we found was Bongos, which led to Coconut that led to Mini. So, what's on that second medal? Is it actually just Feather? Could be the case. All right, I think uh, level six is going to solve at least one other K rule problem here. It'll also give us the helm stuff so we can finally know who actually needs instruments. We, remember, we don't have triangle yet. Uh, what do we have? Oh, that was five door what? igloo! Oh, that's igloo. I thought that was cabins. Oh, maybe okay. it was cabins. No, no, it, it was igloo. Diddy Lanky Donkey. Okay, so we just should need to find that triangle. Castle Shops Diddy and Prod Room Foolish. Oh, yeah! That's concerning. We have, there's a lot of things that haven't really been hit to this scene. So I'm getting, I'm betting Generic Dude is just gonna go to caves at this point. Or go back to Galleon. Well, oh. if, he, if he does Drunky Chunky here, this is a good sign. Now, one thing that's scary about the location of vines being trombone locked is for those that don't know, in these particular settings, if you make your way into Hideout Helm and stand on the instrument pads, you'll actually be told where it is, or at least roughly, like, who gets it in each level. Now, vines you need to get into Helm, so in this particular scene, that's something you cannot do. So we're just going to have to hope... Oh? That generic dude goes and does some lighthouse checks. Oh, are we going to see Drunky Chunky? Are we seeing Mechfish? We're seeing Drunky! Unfortunately, the Mechfish Agenda crew is crying your eyes out, but... Okay, so this will be Trombone to Vines. Generic Dude is probably going to feel very happy about this in a second. There is Trombone. Oh my god. There we go. Alright, Trombone is in Generic's possession. He also has a Rang Sprint, which I neglected to mark from a while ago. So in theory, the only thing we're missing is Gorilla Gong, which Generic Dude probably knows the location of. That's huge. That's huge. Um, if you're slowly following along, though, Shady, the uh, Golden Banana Gap has been slowly evaporating as Shady gets all those quick areas that Generic Dude already got. So this is uh, going to be a pretty tight one up till the end, I think. Yeah, the real question is, will Shady go and check Spider Boss? Because that is the killer right now, is Spider Boss. Alright, Tiny Kong finally in Shady's possession. hit the TNT barrel enemy. Just 
Check your explosion with all feather feels tough. Uh, I guess the thing is though, Mills has been hinted double or twice now. So even if you don't have feather, I still feel like it's a pretty good play. Yeah, the wrong thing about Mills was the fact that you had a giant chain lead to Vines. You had Spring there, which led to Grape, which was one of the required items for Rabbit Race. So, depending on how you interpret those hints, you might start pursuing the entirety of Aztec for it, which I feel might be what Shady is doing right now, is full clearing Aztec. All right, so if this is Gorilla gone in here, and, and if there's no shenanigans with Chunky being on K. Rule, which means you didn't even find Hunky Chunky, Generic's got the seed solved. So we will see if we are in go mode here or not. Just gotta hit up shops. Or sorry, the eight, five door igloo. I imagine he's gonna be hitting up the shop here because I think he's a couple GB short still. His tracker is showing four blueprints. Um, so he's gonna need four more gold bananas. Well, there's two it's right the here. Short play will have a couple. By the way, this is just a really good spot for generic dude. Because getting these last few GBs shouldn't be an issue, it's just a question of do you need to do some slightly longer checks or go somewhere else? Maybe risk that Helm lobby and the saxophone pad have something. I don't know what else this could be if it wasn't gone anyways. Like, worst comes to worst, we can get the gone hit. But what could this be that's not gone? I mean, it can't be Feather. There's, like, no chance, right? No, no. It, 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 this, it, Fe Feather blocks your ability to hit, so no, it's 100% yep. not Feather. So, it could be Triangle. We know it can't be Gorilla Grab, we know it can't be Ponytail Twirl, no it can't be Simeon Spring, no it can't be Baboon Blast. Like, I, I don't think this can really be much else except, um, Triangle or, um, Hunky Chunky at this point. I suppose it could also be Sniper. That is a good point as well. It's no, green, no, that's we, go we, mode! Um, Good. Alrighty, so now we just need to push to 60 GBs. That is really good. And if the trackers are right, we're going to be 1 GB off. Which, when there's 3 GBs you can get on your way into Helm, or 3 checks you can do on your way into Helm. So, unless he gets massively screwed here, this is it. Now that is a point. It's not necessarily go mode if we do get an unhinted chunky phase. Now, Correct. odds of that are quite low, but that being said, this is a DK64 randomizer. Anything can happen. Here's the run into Helm. Now I wonder what's going through Shady's mind right now. Like, I feel like... Surely he's just looking for Key 5, yeah? Surely that's all he, that he's trying to think of. 
Yeah, key five has got to be on his mind, and he's probably thinking now, if we go back to what was hinted already, Castle Underground was hinted key five, right? And there he already found diving and private punch. Like, all of this stuff he's trying to check is behind those things, so that's, he's probably thinking about doing stuff like this area, but like, it's not gonna get into anything, of course. This is bananas in right there, but um, I don't think he knows the damage boost strat to get there. Was there anything in the bonus bar? No, oh, he's just gonna. I don't think it matters. So, there's a damage boost you can do um, with the orange in Helm Lobby to get that gold banana, or that check, without being able to d without um, having Sniper to spawn the bridge. Ooh, looks like Generic did actually have a tiny blueprint that he never marked. Saved. That is always the scariest thing is when you get 59 GBs. It's like, all right, I've already full cleared all of the Isles quick checks. Where do I even consider going to find the final one? Where do I go? Oh, right, you got in the sax pad. For some reason, I thought that was a junk item. Ah, right. That does make sense. All right, well, that's not too much of a sidetrack, although he's probably not feeling good about it. I don't think that bonus barrel had a GB anyway, so... So we have... It's the DK like Rock! Oh! What were you saying now? Um... I forget the DK rap just, uh, I got lost in the source. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, I was gonna say the phases were Diddy, Linky, DK, which means that, um, unless if we can need a Peanuts game, we're not really going to be finding any, uh, mini-games we cannot do in health. But we have every item, so that is really good. Well done! Nice song. Ready? How, many more, how many more checks does Shady even have in Aztec is the real question. He, he's, a, he's committed to full clearing Aztec at this point, obviously. Yeah, which, fair enough. Cutscene skip there. I think that's almost everything for Shady, so I wonder where he's even going to push next. <laughs> you want me to need to do Beetle Race still? Yeah, I think Beetle Race is it. It's just catching up on um, tiny checks in this place. But this honestly was a brutal scene. Like, the location of so many things were in very strange locations. So, this the time that um, Generic Dude's pushing right now, I reckon it's a pretty good time for a brutal scene like this. 
Yeah, I think she generic made one. all the right calls except for orphaning that trombone check for so long. Oh, I hate this minigame. This is the Kaizo Pearl Path Panic. The music is unfortunately very fitting as well. Shady is going to continue doing some Mass X stuff. Yeah, I don't imagine Shady is feeling too good about this scene right now. Just knowing that Key 5 is going to probably give him all the answers he needs, go beat the scene and go from there, but it's a really rough spot. Well I was pushing console now, okay. There's a lot of vague uh, castle hints that he may just feel like he wants to take one more stab at. Maybe he wants to do the uh, top. These baboon, baboon balloon locked ones. Oh, this is gonna be a restart. <laughs> this is a surprisingly tough barrel. You don't have a lot of leeway to hitting these targets. No, you almost need to pre press the button and actually get it. I can anticipate the target quite a bit. I'd like to see if we can figure out how many frames you of the frame window you have to hit the targets here. But um Helm is finally done. And pending no silly shenanigans with Chunky on K rule unhinted, this is go mode. And looking for a roughly 207 time, depending on all the phases, if they go well. Which is not a bad time for this particular seed. Alright, what do we have? What is our order? Uh, generic dude just didn't even look. Um, so we don't know. We won't know until we see the faces in the fights. All right, well, well, there's one out of the okay. two out of the way. Actually, we I think that's it because Diddy phases him yeah. too. So yeah, that's it. That's yeah, go mode. Diddy phase. Alrighty. So that will be the GG's for Generic Dude, moving on to- Oh! We got it! Oh, 
Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. We have one winged, uh, one winged Kaoru. Absolutely. I was wondering one day when this would happen, and it finally happened. It's beautiful. And this is probably one of the only times having a tiny phase is good. You get to hear more of this song. <laughs> Uh, quick questions from um, pot, from some people here. Um, like, how are you finding tiny rig K rule without feathers? Well, little did you know that you can use oranges on the toes as well. So instead of tickling K rule's toes to damage them, you're actually throwing live grenades at them, which honestly, probably a lot more effective than the feathers. Yeah, oranges are not a logical thing. It's something that you can do, but the game will never hint oranges for you with the intense purposes of doing it in the Yo, phase. Shady is so. finally doing Spider Boss, so he oh, did yo. manage to check it before Generic Dude finished. The only thing that uh, Shady is really missing from here is Gorilla Gone anyways. So, it was just Key 5. Somehow of all of the things that happened this scene, Key 5 was the make and break. Got two hints too. I told you exactly the area it was in. So um, the way I'm interpreting the hints as well is that you found diving inside the underground and diving let you get feather bow off of a galleon metal. That's how I'm interpreting those hints. Well, Feather Bow will be forever lost to the void unless one of these players fall in the 20 minutes they were waiting. Yeah. Alrighty, and now we just diddy phase away, and then Generic Dude will be done. Meanwhile, Shady is now dumping blueprints to have max GBs to go and check all the lines. Two more light switches, and that is GG. All right, that's it. That is a generic dude taking fir taking first place in this race over Shady Mist. Shady Mist, unfortunately, is out of the tournament at ninth, ninth place now, while Generic Dude is moving off to top eight. Let's see if we can pull them in here.
Hey guys, you are Word. live on stream. GG's. GG. GG's. Man, what, what a C that was. Oh, wow. I I should have just went with my gut. <laughs> Whole time I was exploring Aztec, I was like, is it talking about grape and five and seven just both happen to be on the path to vines? Oh, gosh. Oh, it was grapes you got in Mills. The entire no. reason I did Spider Boss is because I forgot I got grape in Mills. <laughs> no. So I just thought, I haven't gotten anything here yet. Spider Boss. You got Spring in Mills. And I, then you got Grape in... I never got Grab. Okay. So I didn't so get Spring. Yeah, so Spring was in Mills. That spring was in Mills. Or, okay. Uh, Grab was on Seal Race. Blast was... I don't remember where I got Blast. Hold on. I uh, Blast was on Blast. a boss. Yeah, yeah, it was Forest, on, I believe, wait. Forest Boss. Forest Boss was Blast. Blast for Seal Race got you uh, Grab. Grab then went to Mills to give you Spring. Spring then went back to Galleon to get you um, Grape off of uh, Diddy Gold Tower. And then that way you can get into Owl Tree to go get vines. That's awful! It was a brutal path. And Generic Dude here, in case you didn't know Shady, Generic Dude did not find any of that, but instead just went to the treasure room very early on to find Grape. I mean, I opened it up, but I don't typically go uh, doing the jump. Plus it was early on, so I was like, eh... Unless I have something that leads me over there. And then once I found Spring, I went straight back over there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, because I did see in the mills that there was the vial there. And at that point, I had all the other Diddy moves, so I knew it had to be Spring. I just completely forgot I got great over where I did, which was logically Spring locked. So there's all that. But wow. But then. Yeah, that's it, it wasn't for the fact that. Spring was there, and it all led to vines. On the same path to <laughs> all that for key seven, but it just happened to line up with the areas that were also on the path to key five. Well, let me let me tell you, generic. Uh, me and Spike were hating on that call of going to Spider Boss, and then we freaked out when we saw it was key five. <laughs> I was thinking, what if there's something on Spider Boss like early on, and. Once I went to Aztec, I was like, let me just clear everything. Still gotta get tiny here anyways. Yeah, because also, I know that you brought it up on the stream. I didn't even consider it. Logically, you need Bo for that. Yeah. And I didn't... And Bo was... We don't know where. Wait, you did, you never found it, Shady? No, uh, we think we know where it's at, and I'm checking right now. Uh, I'm Galleon just... Metal? Yeah, we're... I'm just trying to figure out the quickest way to get all her bananas. Yeah, I had a feeling it might have been Tiny's medal, because you had a double hint for that, but none of the two of you found Feather, which honestly, very fair play. You find oranges, it's like, why would I go hunt Feather? There's no reason to okay, find right. a what so oh, Her medal sucks here without Feather. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I do want to say, me pulling those oranges where I did, and that just the whole string of just, a, here's a bunch of colorless vials in castles. And I'm just... That, that I did the same thing. It was just one after another after another. Like, hour 15 in, I still only had like 18 bananas. Like, oh I was gosh. just entering japes. Yeah, I and thought, that was without vines. I thought for absolute sure, when I think it was an hour 30 in, I finally got punch. And I just, I said to myself, it's over. I, I, I'm losing. But wow, okay, no, I just happened to fall backwards into everything that I needed out of logic. Can give the two of you a bit of an idea of how that seed played? I made a comment about 30 minutes in, I was like, aside from like, Shady getting oranges early, the two of you did 
the exact same thing for the first 30, 40 minutes. It was like neck and neck, same GB count, same items. The two of you were doing a bunch of the same mini games at the same time. It was just ridiculously close. Then it got to that point where suddenly it's like, okay, we need to find vines. Generic dude decided to go push japes, push ahead, farm GBs, push way to time. While Shady goes and does all the early game things to find vines. So one person had tiny, a bunch of GBs, the other person had almost got vines, no GBs, but like punch and sprint and all these extra stuff. So the two of you were playing very different seeds at that point. It was impossible to tell who was actually going to win that seed until you pulled key five. Oh my gosh. Featherbow was on her pedal. <laughs> oh yeah. my. Of course. So that satisfies that then. That was the underground to um, key five. You found diving. Diving got you Featherbow medal. Gee, that's a nice path. Yeah. Diving also the... got you Mini Monkey because Mini Monkey was on the cannon game. Yeah, because Galleon medals were hinted twice for, for Tiny Phase. That was ridiculous. What a crazy oh. seed, and especially for the the vines path was just like there was so many hints for that vines path too. It was just like, is there gonna be room for anything else? But it ended up working out. Yeah, thankfully oh. they did tell us exactly where Gone was. Yeah. Uh. Well. Oh, I I was about to ask. Did you go check the level six and seven hints? Oh yes. Uh, one of them okay. told you exactly where Gone was. So. Yeah, I only checked after I did Helm, and I was like, I'm just going to go look for Feather. Screw K. Rule. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, once I finally got Key 5 and all that stuff, I realized the only thing I'm missing for K. Rule is Bow. Forget that. Just forget that. I'm going to go do this one thing that I has hinted way at the horde in level 7, which is probably gone. It was gone and I just said, "All right, I'm I'm gone." Just That was ridiculous. Yeah, I didn't check I went and got the gone hint, didn't check the level 6 hints because I happened to go to level 7 first and ended up in caves. So I was like, "Let me just do all the ditty checks." I have a question to ask you, Shady. Have you still got your game open? Yes, I do. Can you see what the Aztec feather hinted? I'm doing that. <laughs> I'm right <laughs> on the door. <laughs> you gotta um, find out before wonder... we cut. <laughs> oh, yeah. Drop and scuff to path to key eight. Oh, my. Are you serious? <laughs> nice. <laughs> I was an awful place for that. Oh, wow. that's so rough. So you needed to do the trough and scuff to get Blast. To go get all the stuff on the chain to end up getting vines. To get access to Aztec. To then go get Tiny. To go back to Galleon. To get <laughs> Featherbow on her middle. Just to get the hint for the start of the path. Yeah. Unbelievable. Oh, and if it makes you feel better, generic dude, as well, I'm pretty sure Shady only got, like, trombone, what, maybe 15 minutes before you did? It wasn't that different, considering how long the seed was. That's dumb. Yeah. I, I said screw rabbit race. I, I, I will come back and check it later, whatever, because that was the only thing in Owl Tree, but... Once I found key seven, I was like, I know where Vines is. What the hell did I miss? Where's Trombone? Yeah, I was the same way. And I pushed I pushed to Japes earlier, you said, so I I knew that earlier. And I just figured, okay, maybe it's on maybe it's on the Diddy Rocket, because Rocket was hinted Path of Key 8, so possibly that's what they're talking about. No, it's just alright. It has to be the rabbit race because Tiny's in level five and that wouldn't make sense for vines. Well, the path to key eight for Rocket was for uh, guitar on top of Aztec Lobby. Yeah. That's the thing. Some Here's the thing, though. Sometimes they, they, do, they do satisfy and only point to one thing, but sometimes they just point to multiple things and there's just nothing you can do about it. 
Yeah. Now, very rough seed overall, but getting that time that you got, well, actually, both of you ended up actually doing not a bad time for how rough this seed is. And you can thank, um, thank whoever made the seed for that. All right, well, I think that's it then for the stream here. Again, thanks for watching. Um, be sure to follow our Twitch stream, dk 64 Speedruns. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at dk 64 Speedruns. And um, there is a lot more to come. Generic Dude moving on to loses round five where he will play the winner of myself, Tudos, versus Rydog. In two um, days at the same time. Yep. Two more days, Wednesday, you can catch it live on our Twitch stream, DK64 Speedruns. So, um, 8 p.m. Eastern, check us out. We will be streaming again my match. All right, that being said, let's go ahead and uh, send viewers on to somebody. Let's see who's live. Ooh, I want to do Camerson here, because Camerson is doing what appears to be a suspicious Elrock seed. Actually, there's no mic in music, so that's probably not a good thing. So, let's redirect to Connor75. So, thanks for watching, everyone, and we will see you around. Morning. Uh, he's doing the async. <laughs>